So you've got some glass products that you want to take photos of, but you're struggling to actually get a decent photo of your glass product. So how do you do that? That's what we are gonna be talking about in this video. So let's get started. So today we are in my studio and I have this light tent set up here for taking photos of a small wine glass. Now, the reason that I have the light tent is to get diffused light on our product. You want to be using soft light when you are photographing glass products to eliminate reflections. So that is why I am using this light tent for that. If you don't have a light ten, um, you can just use a white sheet in front of your light source. The next thing I have done is I've actually put my light source right behind my light tent here. So that we're actually getting back lighting coming onto our product. So we are lighting the product from behind. I'm just using a a uh, cheap ring light from Kmart to do this and having that diffusion there from the light tent helps to spread out the light from that light source. The next thing I have is these black cards either side of my product inside the light tent. Now these are there to define the edges of the glass so that you can actually see where the glass is by blocking some of the light coming in around the edges you get these nice dark lines on the edge of the glass which helps to show where the glass is i've also placed my glass onto a mirror so that is actually the base of my scene for this shot and the reason for that is so that i can get a nice reflection of the glass um, below it which really looks really nice in glass product photos. Finally, before I take any photos, I want to make sure that my glass is nice and clean. It doesn't have any fingerprints or anything on it. So for that reason, I'm wearing cotton gloves and I'm using a cleaning cloth just to clean the product before I actually take any pictures to make sure there's no dust or fingerprints on there as they're really hard to remove in the post-processing. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you have found these tips useful and helpful. If you have, just let me know in the comments by sharing some of your glass photos that you have taken after watching this video. If you have enjoyed the video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more tips and tricks on how to improve your photos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.